Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here. And I really just got into Adobe Premiere. Uh, I'm using CC, and I've used it a lot for work that I do. And now I decided that I really want to make the leap and use it on here. I really wasn't happy with, with how Final Cut works and how it works with, uh, you know, certain files and everything like that. And professionally, I've been getting, you know, a couple of jobs here and there every time. And uh, Adobe just works so much better. And I learned... And I applied this onto my newer channel, which I'll tell you about at the end, how to do the multiplicity effect where you seem like you're talking to yourself or whatever, uh, you know, in video. So this isn't a photography video 100%, but it's a cool video. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but this is exactly how you do it. This is kind of the tutorial on how to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Pretty much anything that has this filter that you can use uh, to accomplish this effect. So let's dive into that right about now. Okay, so how to do this, you can do this in a couple different ways in regards to how you want to shoot this. But essentially, like you see here, um, you want to keep this on a wide shot. You don't want to change your settings after you're done doing this because you'll have inconsistencies on the way things work. So keep this on a tripod. Uh, once again, you can do this in several ways, but don't move your focal length, your angle, don't change the lighting or anything like that, or it really won't look that good when you use this tool uh, to make this effect. So essentially, what you want to do, as I said, you want to kind of plan out where you want to be. So I'm, I actually have a three. I'm going to do like talk to myself in three ways in this thing with the multiplicity effect. So as you see, I'm, tr I'm not trying to go near this lamp right here. So I'm tr not trying to go to this lamp because when I jump to, uh, for example, this shot, I don't, don't go past this lamp much at all. And that's because the way you kind of cut everything out and move everything or key or mask or however you want to think about this, uh, you have to keep all that in mind because if you overlap, it won't look great and it won't work. Simply, you just see a shot that's cut off and you'll see I'll add in a, like a third shot later on. So this is, you know, one of me on the right side of the screen, one of me on the left side of the screen, and I'm going to have a third one in the back. But it's just, um, it's very, very simple to do. I'm just going to expand. I'm going to hold uh, shift and hit plus so I can see the uh, everything else a little bit better. So once again, this is really just an easy tool to do. It's it's going to be interesting. I'll even play this at the end because I don't even know how the heck this is going to look. Um, I'm just going to show you the technique. And then if I can make this, if it's a very coherent thing, you know, um, that's the hard part is timing everything out, getting all the reactions, leaving yourself enough room for your other person, uh, you know, to speak or to act or do whatever you want. So this is really what you do. So you can have one long video where you just change shirts, you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, do different things and anything like that. Or you can film just three separate clips. To me, I just did one long clip up here. You know, this is my master clip. You know, this was, you know, here. You know, this was over, you know, five minutes or whatever to uh, to essentially film. So I just did that, did different sides, and make sure you don't step over the certain things. So what I'm going to do now is stack all of these. So, so as you see right now, the only shot we have right now on the top is the uh, second one in video two. That's me speaking on the left. But then as it gets to this guy here, you're going to obviously see that it's him. You know, this is the top shot. So essentially what we have to do is crop in and edit all different things. And what you're going to do is there, so this mainly starts out on this media browser, however have your thing up. Um, you want to double click on your first top clip, so your highest clip on your video. You want to go to effects controls. Then you want to go to this effects window down here. And it's going to be video effects, keying. And there's two, two you can use. Uh, you just get way more variation and versatility with this option. Uh, instead of the four, I like to use the eight. But if you only want to use that, then obviously uh, uh, feel free. <laughs> so this is this is the top one. Uh, you know, we'll see right here. I'm bringing the garbage mat, and you'll see you can bring this stuff down uh, here. But he's gonna walk out, so it's almost not going to matter so what i'm going to do is just move this clip aside for right now and this is when i will you, I just leave me alone i probably you quit too. gotta stop I'm running go me like that i'm I'll just gonna go crazy <laughs> I don't know. so that's when i'm out of the screen on that one so it actually almost doesn't matter for this one all right so that one works pretty well right there the next one I probably want to do, since actually that didn't need it, is do the same thing here. Effects controls. 
or you could drag it or just drag it on top or whatever. I like to do it here so I know it works. As I said, I'm already on the right side of the screen with this one. So essentially what I'm going to do is, make sure that that's highlighted, is crop myself back in. As you see, I have all the control points here. But as you can see, this is what I mean about, you know, it's kind of like just cropping essentially, but that's what I mean about making sure things don't move because you see the first clip is the thing on the to the right. Uh, and this is obviously the clip that I'm working with is uh, is right here. But with the eight, you ha literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points to move. So essentially what you want to do is just move it so you can see my, you know, myself the whole time. Essentially, it might look something like, all right, so this one's going to need it too. So I missed this one. Let me just cut myself in all the way. You want to see you want to be very very precise on movements but apparently i didn't do a good job talking to myself so let's just see how this oh, looks right man. here i don't know if i should keep doing this Wait. all right so you kind of see it saw some of it play out a little bit and it's just really kind of how it works as you see there's not a lot of seams and i noticed when i got to here there was a couple seams and it's really just about moving around but this it's so simple to do it's just very easy you just have to get the timing right and everything like that and I don't know, hopefully that this made sense. Hopefully this was easy. Essentially, you just stack your clips. You start with the, the third clip or the third layer, or the second layer, whatever you're going to use. Um, you double click on it. You go to your effects tab op uh, and uh, just drag in or whatever you want with your eight point mat uh, tool. So that way you can uh, crop in and do everything like that. So I know this is uh, kind of a little bit of a ramble, but hopefully this tutorial helped you out a little bit. It's extremely simple, uh, and it's just knowing how to work with it and uh, just playing with it. So hopefully it helped us out, and I'm going to let this video play out. I'm going to cut it together and actually make it look good, and that'll end the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was simple for you guys and girls as well. Enjoy. Oh, man, I don't know if I should keep What's up, doing Eric? this. What's up, man? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just like I can't make videos anymore you know it's just like i'll never be that <laughs> well, good you aren't that good you're no jared poland you're no dom bauer you're definitely no snap chick so listen i know i know if just, i were you i would just leave me alone i'd probably quit you too gotta stop running go me back like that i'm just gonna it. go crazy <laughs> i don't know if i should keep going hey do you guys want to shut up i'm working here come on get back to work let's go let's keep going